You know why they say you have to be careful about the decisions you make? Because every decision, every single decision has consequences. Now, the word consequences is the key part in that sentence. Because anytime you hear the word consequence, most of the time, there's a negative connotation that comes with it. When people hear these are the consequences, usually they think it's negative. And when we hear consequences, usually it is negative. But consequence isn't always a negative thing. It literally is just the, it's, it's like cause and effect. It's literally, if you make a decision, there's always going to be consequences that to that decision, whether good or bad. If I make a decision to invest, let's say $100 into a property, and it blows up, and I mean blow up, I mean the, the rate, the, the value of that property goes up, the consequence of me putting $100 down, the consequence is now that money has flipped and it's, it's, it's grown to exponential proportions. That is the consequence for me putting that $100 down for the property that ultimately blew up. The Raiders aren't good. The Raiders are not good at all. And the thing that I feared and the thing that we have known for the longest is Jimmy G is not a franchise quarterback. He is a quarterback. I will give him props. He is a quarterback that is extremely good when everything goes right, when everything is laid out perfectly for him, when you have a great offensive line, when you have a great defense, when you have a great coach, when you have great offensive weapons. Jimmy G is a very good quarterback. But... As we've seen on several occasions in his career, he is unable to elevate a team when one or two things isn't going right. We've seen that on even his Super Bowl year. We forget who was on that defense, who was on that offense. The Lions beat the Raiders 26 to 14. And the talk after this game is about Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams finished the game with, in fact, let me not even go there. Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, and Jacoby Myers, they're three wide receivers finished with a combined four receptions four for a combined 38 plus 11 49 yards Devontae Adams had seven targets one reception for 11 yards And the conversation after that game was obviously do Devontae Adams a favor and let him go. Free Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams deserves to be with a good organization. He deserves to be with a good quarterback. He deserves to be with a, in a better system. There was a couple things that I think is true about this situation. And we just expressed one of them. Jimmy G is not a, a that good of a quarterback. I said that when the Raiders were just so quick to let Derek Carr go for Jimmy G, I'm like, you're not getting any better. In fact, you're getting worse. Also know that Josh Mc it's clear that Josh McDaniels is not a good coach. 
I don't think there's ever been a place where Josh McDaniels has been the head coach and that team has flourished. Now, is he a good coordinator? Yeah. Actually, he's, he's probably a damn good coordinator when you're alongside Bill Belichick. But he's been a coach. This is uh, This is another stint where it just hasn't worked. And I don't foresee Josh McDaniels there by the end of the year. If not, if they're going to save whole face and keep him because the Raiders are will fire somebody in the middle of the season. Let's <laughs> but if they don't want to look bad, they'll just wait to the end since I mean the Lakers I mean not the Lakers, the Raiders season is I'm not gonna say over, but over. So I don't think Josh McDaniels is going to be there for next season, I'll say that. But it goes back to decisions and consequences. Now, I understand that the, the, the Raiders of the Devontae Adams, well, the Raiders that the Devontae Adams, what am I saying? The Raiders that Devontae Adams went to is obviously not the same Raiders that he's on now. He went there because apparently it was one of his childhood dreams to play for the Raiders. And he also ultimately wanted to play with his best friend and Derek Carr. Derek Carr is out of there. Derek Carr is on the Saints. And this iteration of the Raiders is not the same Raiders that Devontae Adams chose to go to. Picked the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers. Chose this Raiders team over that. But it's all about decision and consequence. One thing that I do know, and the one thing that we've seen countless times in sports in general, not just NFL, sports in general is things change, right? And a team, the fabric of a team can change drastically, not just year after year, but week after week. That's a big that's the big reason why there's a trade deadline. And if you want a clear cut effect of that or clear cut example of that outside of this Devontae Adams situation, look at the Christian McCaffrey. Look at Christian McCaffrey and the 49ers. Christian McCaffrey has always been considered one of the best one running backs in the league when he was in Carolina. But Christian McCaffrey's impact wasn't that that much felt because you didn't have the quarterback. You didn't have the offensive line. There was a lot going on with the Carolina Panthers. Vice versa, when you look at the 49ers, the 49ers never really had a solid running game. They were good. You had Jimmy G, but you didn't have a solid running game. Now you look at it. Christian McCaffrey has changed the fabric of this 49ers offense. What I'm getting at is things change. And as much as I hate this phrase, because they say this at my job a lot, but I hate it. But in this instance, it is kind of true. This is the bet that you made, Devontae Adams. You chose to go to the Raiders. And on top of that, the Raiders and and Derek Carr were, it seemed like they were destined for a split before Devontae Adams got there. Everyone knew that apparently except for Devontae Adams, or I guess they felt that Devontae Adams being there would change the trajectory, which Devontae Adams is that type of player, would change the direct trajectory of a team. But once they realized that it didn't and the Raiders still finished probably the same place they would have finished without Devontae Adams and Derek Carr, they stay, they let Derek Carr walk. I would love to see Devontae Adams be on a team that competes for a championship. I would love to see Devontae Adams on a Kansas City Chiefs team or a Baltimore Ravens team. Hell, I would love to see Devontae Adams on my team, the Washington Commanders. But I also understand that this is a business. And 
like many businesses, teams change all the time. And while, yes, I understand that you didn't go to the Raiders to play with Jimmy G and to get one reception for 11 yards and to have, I think, like 450 or 400 or no, 150 yards or something like that in the last four games. I know you didn't go to the Raiders to do that. I get that. And again, I would love to see Devontae Adams on a contender. But I also understand that this is the bed that Devontae Adams unfortunately made when you decide to leave Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers to go to a dysfunctional organization. A dysfunctional organization before you. And I don't think, I, I don't understand which, and I think the Green Bay Packers were willing to pay him the mo- more money than the, than the Raiders. But you chose dysfunction over stable, even though the winning wise, it isn't there as much as people like to say it is. You chose a dysfunctional organization over a stable organization. And now you're upset that the dysfunctional organization is dysfunctional. It's unfortunate, but hey. Decisions, consequences. Oh, man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.